Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean a lot. Now, if you've seen the last build, we're using Polaris Lance because of the recent buff that allowed it to apply Scorch and the rework to Zen Moment to fight Flinch and Recoil, but I found a weapon that works a lot better with some fragment changes. The weapon is none other than Skyburner's Oath, combined with not one, but two exotics for different playstyles, Capri's Horn and Phoenix Cradle. Let's dive in. Skyburner's Oath is an exotic scout rifle that deals solar damage and has two firing modes. Hit fire for explosive rounds that scorch and aimed for more precise shots. This versatile weapon is perfect for adapting to various combat situations and taking down enemies with ease. It is also very good at igniting well of rain dances. For the fragments, we're using Towering Barricade still, Hammer Strike mainly for movement until next season, and Cinder Grenade for the high score stacks to pair with Skyburners for Ignitions, Consecration, and Soul Invictus, Ember of Mercy for Resilience and Restoration on Revives, Ember of Ashes and Ember of Char for Ignitions, Ember of Searing for Melee Energy, Fire Sprites, and Rika. Fire Sprites give you grenade energy when you pick them up. Also, they give you restoration when you have Ember of Mercy. The first exotic we're pairing with Skyburner's Oath is Kepri's Horn, a Titan Helmet that grants a solar damage barricade. When you use your barricade ability and unleashes a solar wave that damages enemies in front of you, this exotic is perfect for players that want to deal extra damage while staying protected. Our second exotic option is Phoenix Cradle, a Titan leg armor that extends the duration of Soul Invictus and shares its benefits with your allies. This exotic is great for players who prefer a more supportive playstyle, allowing you to boost your team's effectiveness in combat. When using Kepri's Horn, focus on getting up close and personal with your enemies. Using your barricade ability strategically to unleash that solar wave and deal massive damage. Keep in mind that Skyburner's Oath has two firing modes, hit fire for explosive rounds, and aim for more precise shots. Use these modes to your advantage depending on the situation. When using Phoenix Cradle, your focus should be on supporting your teammates, activate Soul Invictus, and share its benefit with your allies. Boosting their effectiveness in combat, make sure to communicate with your team and coordinate your abilities to maximize the impact of Phoenix Cradle. This build featuring Skyburner's Oath, Kepri's Horn, and Phoenix Cradle offers two distinct playstyles for Titans catering to both aggressive and supportive players. Experiment with both exotics and find the one that suits your playstyle best. Good luck, and let us know how this build works for you in the comments below. That's it for today's build, folks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.